Good morning, everybody. Cancer Diaries, number 12, I think. I'm very bad at keeping track, but I think it's 12. Let's see what Isabel has to say today, because she's freaking adorable. You know. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Zen, it's 8.22 a.m. on Saturday, April 18th, 2020. There really isn't any news to speak of today, but oh, the latest copy of my favorite magazine arrived today. I'm looking forward to reading it. <laughs> that's all. That's it. Okay. That's a lot shorter than usual. Um, but it's still cute. Okay. Do I get money? I need some money. That's not a lot, but sure, that works. Right. What do I got? I went back to my hometown to see my peeps from the old days. Funny, I remember them as being well, way wilder. But I guess I have settled down to how time I'll do. Time will do then. Okay. So she, I guess she's not in town right now. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, I, I gave CJ uh, fish. So he gave it to his boyfriend Flick. You know. That is pretty cool. I, I swear they're dating. They're they're too gay together. They're so they're cute. He called them partner, but like, and that could mean anything. But at the same time, it's like they're they they'd be perfect. Okay. Apparently, I don't know how to place things. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> So, let's see, coronavirus, um, things are getting worse. Trump actually said today, or I guess, yeah, today, um, which was funny, actually, CNN didn't even play the clip of him talking anymore. It's just the news anchor, like, paraphrased, well, not even paraphrased, directly quoted everything, but it's the, the news anchor saying it, so it sounds so funny. Um, what's his face? It's a guy with the gray hair, but, um. CNN. Um, but yeah, he's like quoting everything that Trump said. And it's so funny. Because um, <clears throat> apparently there's no one to blame for the coronavirus like, and the, how it happened and everything. But, you know, just the, just I think yesterday, no, not, I mean, not even yesterday, two days ago, he was saying that it was um, the WHO's fault and it was also um, Obama's fault. <clears throat> so. But you know. Yeah, that was funny. So it's no one's fault. Because, you know. He, it, I think that's that's the closest we'll get, we're going to get to him admitting that it's his fault. Is that saying that it's nobody's fault. <laughs> um, so that was funny. I, you got to find the humor in news when everything's gone to shit, you know. And I live in Texas, so Texas is kind of in a bad situation because our governor supports Trump, so he wants to open up, like, by mid-May, um, which isn't a good idea since Texas is actually, like, expen like its uh, coronavirus cases are going up a lot higher than other places. And we also have a lot of Trump supporters. So they're going outside and <clears throat> doing things <laughs> when they're not supposed to be. Uh, we got a lot of shitty people, I'm going to be honest. Because like, I have seen a lot of stuff of people signing up to work for Instacart and then stealing people's um, like groceries or stealing or like Uber Eats people, stealing people's food that they were supposed to deliver, which is like, uh, okay. I don't know. It's just people are kind of shitty right now. 
And I'm hoping that, you know, the better people will stay inside and be responsible and nice and logical. Oh. I will buy more clothes from you, girl. What is this? <clears throat> A flooring, folding floor lamp. Um, yeah, I don't really want that, but sure. I'll buy everything from you. Okay. Ooh, tiger feet. That's cool. I'll buy everything. And plus she has pants. I need pants. I have like no pants. Yeah. No, no, no. No. But anyways. It's, I think it's going to get to... My prediction is that it's going to get to a point where people are... too tired of isolation and they're just going to start going outside but um hopefully the smarter people will, will stay inside you know for the most part it's just bad out there but anyways I don't really have anything to update in terms of the cancer even though this is supposed to be a cancer diaries because I still haven't gotten like um anything from Medicaid saying that I get or not get Medicaid, which I'm probably not going to get till like the 23rd, I think. It's, why, why do I keep having my slingshot out? Okay. <laughs> yes. I keep canceling out. My bad. I need this, I need this tiger tea. I don't know if buying all her clothes is gonna make me make her want to stay here, but that's what I'm trying to go for. I already have slip on loafers, so I'll give that to somebody. I'll go ahead and buy that freaking triangle shades. Give that to somebody too. <clears throat> but, anyways, <clears throat> things are getting kind of iffy out there. And, oh yeah, but other than that, like, so far I haven't had any, like, brain issues like I usually wake up a little sore in the morning near where my stitches are but I think that's mainly because I roll over in my sleep and it's just not good for my stitches but I don't get dizzy and I haven't had a seizure so that's good right yeah so no seizures and no dizziness from like doing things like I wake up at 7 and make breakfast and everything by myself I think I'm doing physically well. Though so today my knee, like I woke up, my knees hurt. Like my, my, my right knee. Like just my right knee. I don't know why. Igly, you're too cute. It's okay. Butterfly. Get your ass here.
Let's see, my flowers are pretty good, you know. They're growing. They're growing. I need more colors, though. Hmm. Yeah, I need more colors. Get over here. Okay. Sell this, this, and this, and this. Okay. Okay, so what else is there to talk about, to be honest? I'll just shake trees while I talk. Um, I'm hoping. I've said it before, but like I'm hoping all, after all of this is over, it's gonna. It, I think it'll take like uh, till 2022 for everything to be like really back to normal. Like it's it's not gonna get back to normal by the end of the year, honestly. I I'm trying to picture how Christmas is gonna go. It's gonna be kind of sad, I think. Christmas and Thanksgiving, people are gonna. If we, if the pandemic lasts, the Christmas and Thanksgiving, people are gonna probably snap a little bit because you know how it is. They're like, they could barely contain themselves for Easter, like. But now it's, oh, we can't have a family holiday. It's American tradition. You know, it's gonna be. It's gonna be bad. And a lot of people are saying, oh, it's not gonna last that long. It's not gonna last past May, you know, like, I've had people, like, because I, I leave a lot of YouTube comments on, like, the, on the news videos that I watch every day, but, like, there's, some people were, like, extra mad if I said that, oh, we're not gonna open back up that past May, and they're like, that's too long, it's like, you do realize that it's a, it's a, it's a pandemic, you can't just, like, will it to go away I can make a cosmos wreath now I don't have cosmos though man I need okay so I need more flowers I need so many more flowers but yeah it's like you can't that's the thing with Americans is that they want what they want right so if they're willing it that um, the pandemic is gonna go away they want it to go away because they want to go outside, they want to go do their hair, they want to go shopping. Like like yesterday, the video I watched, um, the people were, the guy, it's like a 60 year old man and he's tearing up with his like veterans hat on or whatever and saying, you can't go buy paint and lawn seed and lawn fertilizer. And he's like tearing up over this. I'm like, dude, it's a Home Depot. It's not like, <laughs> Like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, the, the thing we basically need to do is, um, just change the our, the way we do things a bit. Like, Amazon should step up and make, like, their de delivery stuff even better. Like, if... And treat their, um, you know, employees better, obviously. But, uh, that's not gonna happen, so... So, yeah, I think, I feel like Amazon could actually be a key to fixing how our economy is going and like online delivery services are going to just be the thing but at the same time we still are heavily unemployed 22 million right now I think and that's not probably even counting the people that actually like applied for unemployment because half of the unemployments haven't gone through so it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger when it's already pretty fucking big. So. So that's the interesting part there. Um, so far no wasp nests. Hmm. Say that they're going to they're going to get me like right now. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's pretty much all I could talk about today. Cause there's not a lot going on. Every day it's like I'm just I'm gonna start. I started gardening a little bit about like those little kids. Um, grow your own vegetable thingies where you put water and then it gives you dirt. Yeah, I got those. I'm gonna have some vegetables. And then hopefully I can start planting stuff outside. Because oof. I bought a shovel. But it's like it's totally not a shovel at the same time. It's, it, it's, it's a shovel, but it's a knife. It's a freaking knife. It's sharp as fuck. So, yeah, I bought a knife to, to do gardening with. It's totally not to um, defend myself in the event of a apocalypse, you know. So, anyways, that's it for today.